Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a YouTube lower third subscribe animation using PowerPoint. Okay, let's go ahead and open up PowerPoint. And like usual, we'll click blank presentation. And then we'll press Control A, Control and A, and then hit the delete key. That will delete all of the content. Let's make this side panel very small. That's just that slide there. We don't really need to have this wide. Let's go to file, save as, and let's just save our work so that we don't lose any of our work. So I'm just gonna to go to this directory. I've got a blank presentation here. I'm just gonna overwrite it, give you one a sensible file name, and we just save this. So the first thing we wanna do is just change the background color. If you go to uh, view first, and then just turn on ruler, grid lines, and guides here, turn these three on. After you've done that, go to design, and inside design, go to format background, and in this option here, we wanna select like a, a gray color, something's like this gray color, and we're going to change that later. This just helps us to do our layout a little bit easier. Let's close this. Let's go back to the home, and we're going to click on this drop down, and we're going to select rounded edge rectangle. This one. So when we click on that, we want to draw a little rounded rectangle here, about this size, something like this, similar to this. And then in the shape field, we want to select it, set it to white. So we want to have it white, but the shape outline, we want to set it to no outline. Okay, we want to download the YouTube logo so we can use this in our animation. So let's minimize this and open up the web browser. And I'm gonna to go to this link here. It's this Wikipedia link. I'll put a link to this in the YouTube description. So check the description for a link directly to this page and we can click on the logo. We click on the logo. All we wanna do is just drag and drop that into this directory. So I'm just gonna drag and drop it into this folder here. So now we've got a copy of the YouTube logo that we can use within our animation. Here it is, it's a PNG file, and it's transparent, which is what we need. So let's go ahead and open up PowerPoint. Let's make sure this folder is open as well. We can open up PowerPoint, and then we can just drag that logo into PowerPoint. So here's the logo, and we only want the button. So we can these ideas, we can close them, we don't need that. We only want to keep the button shape and get rid of the text. So we could go into GIMP or Photoshop and edit this, but there's an easier way to do this. Let's just right click on this logo right click and go to format picture when we go to format picture we're going to go to the last tab picture here and we're going to go to crop and then we want to crop it so we want to crop it from i believe let's see we want to crop it from the left and we want to bring this value right down right you can just hold down the mouse button and crop the image this way so we just keep doing this until we only see the little logo shape right so we're just getting rid of the text and we're left with now just this little logo shape that's what we want okay let's close down this picture format tab here we can close that we don't need it anymore let's click the logo and drag it towards the center and then we want to resize it we want to make it much much smaller and we want to drag it down to around this position here so it's just on the edge of this white box right we can hold down the control key and zoom in so we want to zoom in quite far around 400 percent let's just drag this to the side so we can click on the logo just to make sure it's centered out. You'll see this red line appear and make sure it's in, in the center point of this, the height of this white section or the white box. Let's go to home and then click on the text box here. So we want to write some text in here. So let's draw out a little text box here. We can adjust the size in a moment. But for now, I just want to type in a simple word. It's just going to be subscribe. I'm going to select that text and go to the drop down. I'm going to select this particular font. You can pick any font you like, and I want to make this a little bit bigger and set it around 20. And then I want to drag it. Let's see, I just want to um, click on the text box and just drag it up, right? And when you drag it, you'll see it will start to center out as well. So I want to center out around this sort of position around here. And the text itself can remain black, but let's try and make it maybe a red color, might be nice. So if you click here, select the text, click on the drop down, select eyedropper, then you can take the same red color from the from this button shape so when we when we zoom back out again to 100 percent or maybe a little bit further in 115 we can kind of see what's going on here now we can decide does it all fit nicely or do we want to adjust it and i think what we'll do is click on the the, te the white text uh, box here and hold down the shift key and click on the logo and then just use the arrow to move that in a little bit i think it's a bit too wide so something around here i think is going to be good all of this content off the screen won't show, right? So that's basically our basic little subscribe uh, setup. Now we just want to go ahead and animate this. Okay, let's go ahead and click on the white box here, this white box. Let's go to the animation tab here and then click on animation pane. 
this will open up the sequence for our animation and we want this to slide in from the left hand side so let's click fly in and right now it will fly in from the bottom to the top so let's click this option here and do from left now it's going to float in from the left hand side we want to set this to with previous so that means it will start straight away the animation will start straight away and in the duration we want to set it to 0 0.15 we want it to be pretty fast when we click the play button here you see it flowing quite quickly we want this to be a fast animation let's click on the text so we select this text object and we want this to fade in so we're going to click wipe wipe here and as default it will wipe from bottom to top so we want to select this and from right so it's going to fade in or wipe in from the right we want to set after previous so this will play first and then this will play straight after and we're going to set it to 0 0.25 as well so let's go to the first one and then click play from and we can see it flowing in so it'll the white box will flow in and then the text will fade in like this okay next thing we want to do is move this button so let's click on the button and use that right arrow key on the keyboard just to move it out a bit almost like you want to leave like a gap here something like this this sort of gap here let's click on the button go to the uh, fade and we just want the button to fade in and we want to set that value to 0 0.25 and then in the drop down we select after previous okay so now we want to have this button shape slide towards this text here this white box so let's click on the picture 5 which is this logo and we'll go to the add animation option here you have to select this here and then select a line in the start here we're going to select after previous and we're going to set it to 0 0.25 value and then in the effects here we want to set it to right to left in fact we want to set it left to right it's going to go this direction there's a problem here it goes too far so let's zoom in hold down the control key and use your mouse wheel to zoom in we're going to zoom in on this button here and what we want to do the start position is fine we're going to click on this little red arrow see this little red dot there so start click on the red dot and start to drag it inwards but hold down the shift key to lock it on the um, on this axis and we're going to drag it to about this position here so this will be the start position this will be the end position and right now it's set to duration of two seconds and we want to set it to 0 0.25 so if we go back to the first frame and click play we can see what's going on here one last thing we want to do is click on this picture 5 for this movement of animation let's click on the drop down and go to effects options and inside the effects options the bounce we want to set it to 0 0.1 0 0.1 second and click OK and then if we go back to the beginning and click play we can see we'll have a little bounce at the at the end right it's kind of nice right something like this so now we need to export this as a video so let's hold down the control key let's zoom back out and let's go to home and click save first and we want to change the background because we're going to chroma key this right so it depends on your software what you're using i'm going to be using magics to demonstrate this so i'm going to chroma key it black but you might want to do green or blue depending on if you're using davinci resolve but most software will chroma key black just make sure there's no black content inside of your objects so let's go to the design let's click on format background and in here i'm going to set it to black like this let's close this go back to home click save go to file and then go to export in the export option I'm going to select create video and in the video options I'm going to set it to two seconds at the end right and we'll click create video so here we've got this YouTube subscribe animation mp4 file let's click save and it will take a few seconds to save okay if we minimize this and check the folder so we've got this folder on my desktop inside it we've got the PowerPoint file and we've got an mp4 file and if we can just see that quickly here let's just set it to repeat and we'll click play let's click play and then we can see that little animation is just going to loop for now yeah so that kind of gives you an idea of what that little subscribe animation is going to look like and we're going to use um, magic smooth edit pro to demonstrate this now okay so in the folder on my desktop i've got these demo files i've copied here and inside of that i've just got a magic smooth edit pro file that i've edited previously Let's go back to the first directory. I'm going to click on this MP4 file that we just created. I'll press Ctrl C to copy it. I'm just going to copy it into this directory. I like all my files in a single directory when I'm doing video editing. Let's open up this file 
and we're going to use the chroma key function in Magic Smooth Edit Pro to chroma key out the black background of this YouTube subscribe animation. Now, depending on the software, if you're using DaVinci Resolve or if you're using Adobe Premiere, you can just use the chroma key tools in there to approach and do the same job that I'm about to do now. If you're using Magix, then you can follow this part of the tutorial. So let's just open up the directory. So we've got the folder here. I just want to drag this YouTube subscribe into uh, Magix Move Edit Pro. I'm going to delete this audio because I don't really want to play any audio. This is just a little demo, so I'll mute this as well. So we can just see this subscribe animation here. So as I move my mouse cursor over it, you can see it's all black. So let's click on here, go to Effects. And inside Effects, we're going to scroll up to the top. And we're going to click on Chroma Key here chroma key and we select the black color now what magix will do is remove all of the black from that video clip so we just left with the subscribe animation now in powerpoint what we could have done is put the effort in to reverse the animation so it will, it will animate in and then animate out but it makes more sense that we just copy this file and normally i do this in post-production like what we're doing here so i'll make a copy just press ctrl c to copy this i'll move my cursor uh, to the side and i'll press ctrl v to paste it then I'll just drag and snap them together so they're sitting side by side. I'll click on the second clip, go to the speed options here and set it to reverse. Now if we go back across the timeline, let's go to around here and click play and just watch the bottom corner. We can see the subscribe animation playing now, right? It's nice and simple, easy to do. And we're going to be making some more interesting subscribe animations. I just wanted to make something quite basic and easy for you to understand first. And it's quite interesting that we can do this in PowerPoint, right? PowerPoint is about creating slides for presentations. But if you think a little bit out of the box, you can actually do some quite interesting stuff with PowerPoint that you may not really necessarily think about doing. So obviously there's other ways to do this animation. We could have used um, After Effects or something like that. But to be fair, PowerPoint has done a pretty good job. Um, you know, think about how much time we spent doing this. And we haven't, you know, used any sort of complex tools, very, very basic shapes. Um, we managed to do quite a good little animation sequence here uh, with a very, very basic setup using PowerPoint. So go and experiment with PowerPoint. I'll be making many more tutorials. So if you like PowerPoint and you want to learn more about it, subscribe to my YouTube channel. There you can find over 500 different tutorials on a wide range of subjects. It's not just PowerPoint. You've got 3D animation, graphic design, web development, all sorts of different subjects in different areas. I like to cover and be quite diverse in my channel. So let's close this. I don't want to save it. Let's close this down. Let's go back to PowerPoint and click Save. Just a quick note, the reason why we made the black background grey before, it was just a bit easier to see the content. When we make it black afterwards, then that's for our chroma key. In theory, we could go to design and you could go to format background and click here and you can make it a green colour. Then you've got like a green screen, right? This is like chroma key is normally green or blue. Uh, but you can use black as well. Black should work as long as there's no content in your animation that is black as well. This is why I chose the black colour. Let's press Ctrl S to save this. Let's close this. That's the end of this tutorial. I hope you find it useful and I look forward to seeing you in the next DCP web tutorial.